Hey, I'm Matt from the A-Team here, and I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Today on Format Film School, we're lighting with book lights. Let's go. So, what is a book light? A book light uses both bouncing and diffusing techniques to create a softer looking light source. You bounce your light off a reflective material, and then on the other side of the light you put a layer of diffusion. It was designed to create a soft light without taking up as much space as diffusion, but now it's commonly used to achieve the softest light possible. The idea behind a book light was that the two methods of softening caused the light to struggle more, resulting in more randomized diffusion, and an indirect light source that appears soft on the subject's face, with good wrap and with minimal hot spots. Really any light can be used as a book light, and sometimes it's a great way to make soft light if you only have a hard light source. Today we'll be looking at how to set up a book light and how to position your lights to get the best effect possible. Let's take a look. So here we are on set, let's set up our book light. The first step is to build a bounce. This is our bounce card. There is a shiny side and a softer side, but we're using the shiny side to maximize our light output. So to mount this on our C-stand, we're using a platypus clamp. Now these clamps are great for mounting large bounce materials. Now moving on to our second step, which is our light. In our case, we're using the Nova P300C, which is a panel light, RGB. One thing to note is the position of the light. You don't actually want your light fixture blocking any of the bounce light, so you could lower it and then reflect light up, or you can do what we did and take it out to the side and bounce it at a particular angle. The next step is to set up our diffusion. For our layer of diffusion, we're just using magic cloth. We then position the C-stand, that way the big leg is positioned under the load, sandbagged it, and then also made sure that our knuckles are pointed towards the right side. That way as gravity pulls it down, it's locking in place. Adding layer of diffusion makes this a book light, as opposed to just bouncing light. So here we've replaced our magic cloth with 250 diffusion, but really you can use anything for your layer of diffusion. Different materials will achieve different looks, so long as it softens your light. So because our light is super soft, it's spreading everywhere, but you can focus your light by using cutters like one of these or a floppy. That way you can achieve the same soft light, but with some directionality. So for our last setup, we swapped out the Nova, which is a soft light, with the 300X with the Fresnel attachment, which is a single source light, aka a hard light source. You wouldn't really think we can achieve soft light through this, but between the light being bounced and then being diffused, we can achieve a nice soft light wrapping around our talent. Then we added a few more lights in the background to fill in the scene. Let's check it out. Alrighty, time for a recap. When lighting with book lights, there are two things to keep in mind. First, there's no one way to set up a book light. Experiment with different lights and different bounce materials to find the best combination that works for you. Second, make sure your light is bright enough. Book lights often result in a lot of light loss. Therefore, you need a light that's bright enough to be bounced and then diffused and still reach your subject. Common question of the week, what's the weirdest thing you've used as bounce material? Let us know in the comments with your setup for a chance to win an Aperture M9. Also, hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials. I've been Matt with the A-Team. Thanks for watching Format Film School, and happy shooting.